Hello and welcome back to European Vizalas. My name is Matrius and welcome back to Ireland. As you can see in the last episode, we won quite some war. We almost got the whole of England. We do have some rebels. But that shouldn't be the biggest problem. Now the biggest problem is the truce that we have. Let's try and find... Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, the unrest. As you can see, England does have a lot of unrest and we need to cut that down a bit so we can repair for the next war then we need to core everything but and the unrest will go down if the core is done so let's take a look at the other side of the sea got it still got our Holland in the north We should get our armies back to do some nice little war in there. So is there anything we can do with the national decisions? No, doesn't look like it. No, don't want to do the state firearm. It is tempting, but well. We got some nice stuff coming up. Ooh, some rebels. Let's take a look. Which one is it? The Breton Separatists. Looks like they have some more countries, but... We need to find that. Where is it? Where is that rebel? Oh, there it is. All right. So, oh, that country we took a few episodes ago. We still got the unrest there, and we all we also got the unrest on the mainland. So can we do anything else to lower it without spending too much money? Because converting is going to cost us a lot of money. Can we make more money by trade? Was expecting that we would because we almost got a whole of England, but well, the Dutch are still or the Dutch no no not the Dutch uh, the Friesland still got a large part of the country the Flanders as well yeah well what can we do anything else no no What are we going to do? Ooh, we got some rebels. Finally, that was what I was waiting for because, well, can, we can crush them. Well, kind of New Ireland can crush them because they got the army out there. And we kind of need to build up an army for the future because we need to take, well, a lot of Britain land in the American section. Right, we should finally be able to core it. Last province that we need. And now let's 
Let's do some... What? Denmark, why? Why are you doing this to me? It's Lithuanian, Poland. That's a lot. And I kind of not want that, but I... Oh, man, we need... So, Sweden has gone independence again. And let's see if there's anything we need to do because i think portugal will definitely be attacking us and well that is going to be the biggest problem in the meantime we're taking a little look at the fleet because england still has a big fleet but well there's nothing really we can do about it let's build some more temples because we need more money more money is always good Always do it in the province uh, with above 9, 10. We'll easily make that money back. I kind of want to get the university as well. So let's take a look if we can do that. Well, money likes we cannot, but... Saving up a few ducats. We should be able to build it in some of our main provinces but for now it will have to wait because we need more technology all right let's see if we can speed that up can we get a good advisor i guess we well we should take that one That should help us a bit. Can we handle him? Because, well, he is, is costly. Right, so we got some incoming ships from Portugal. And let's see if they got some transport on the way. That is what. How many transport were there? Hmm. Not too much to worry about. Let's bring the army to the other side. Uh, if they drop any troops, we should be able to counter that on time. But we need to keep an eye on that. Kind of pity this war because, well, we kind of not need it. And still, those rebels haven't been taken care of. So, can we build an army anywhere? Because I kind of want to have an army here. I don't want to ship it now because, well, Portugal will definitely kill it. Is there any plan? No, it's all provinces, so let's take a look on the map. Can we do it in another way? No, no, no. Alright, how are we going to fix this? We kind of only need to get one troop to build it up. But it's not possible with this war going on. Do need to keep an eye on the Portuguese. Just blockading isn't a real issue. Let's see if we can do any unions. That would be nice. But, well, this episode is all about fixing kind of everything because, well, the war with England is costly. But I kind of want to end the war with Sweden, but, well, they're all high enthusiasts. 
So that's not going to help, and Denmark is not doing a really great job. So we'll keep our fleet in the docks at the moment. Alright, how's the rebellion going? Ooh, that is a problem. That is definitely a problem. Portuguese are going for our colonial and I don't think our colony is that good to be able to defend themselves. Let's see what is going to happen because I am definitely not planning to move my troops over. We definitely need to end this war. So how is the war going? Is there anything we can do? Not good. Rebellion and the Portuguese is kind of the biggest problem at the moment. But yeah, the coring is slowly getting done and that's kind of the most important thing. Ooh, the Bermuda. Yeah, I was wondering where is it? There it is. Ah, that's also mine. I didn't even know that. Alright, as you can see, my colonial fleet is kind of stupid, not smart. How can I say that nicely? I kind cannot say that nicely. How's the war going in Sweden? As you can see, sometimes the IA doesn't move their troops pretty well. I would uh, go for the main army, attack it, and else uh, carpet bomb with, uh, with, with single troops, 2,000 men for one province. That way you can go pretty fast. Let's build up an army for America there, so we can move them over to the other side. Because this, this is not going well, but well, we're not going to move them over with so many Portuguese fleas. Thank you. Portugal, yes, they're going to attack the rebels. That's a good thing. Being in a war like this. Alright, the Swedish War of Independence. Is it done? No, just one country left. Alright, well, it's a start. As long as the arrow is going down and Denmark is doing some good battles, it's, it's a good thing. Alright, we got some more cores. That's a good thing. Is there any way we can attack that fleet or do something? No, no, no we're not going to waste our fleet. So at the moment Denmark is doing, well, not great, but okay. And it's kind of wasting my time. Because I could be wasting a war in America, but well. Let's build the American army and kind of do it like a 6 to 2 at the moment. Yes, I guess that would do. 
could handle that money wise. Alright, technology, we definitely need to fix that because we are way behind. At least military, we are not that far behind, but well, we definitely need to get the administrative points up. They totally conquered New Ireland, oh my god. But well, we just have to sit it out. This rebellion is getting fixed, that's a good thing. But money wise, we are slowly going down. And I wonder how we're going to fix that. So, oh, man, oh man, oh man. More money problems. Oh, what to pick come on let's end this war because I need to have some progress come on Denmark I really need you to end this war Portugal is slowly taking down all my colonial assets. Anything else we could do? Maybe a war on Flanders or something in that area because that would increase my, uh, my merchant's income a lot. The money is something you could never have enough. So for this achievement we do need all Irish cores. I do need to check if that one also belongs to that because else we'll have to do a war against Denmark as well. Maybe we should do an independence war against Denmark but we definitely need a better fleet for that. But we kind of only need then that island so dropping like 20 stacks troops and have them stay there would be the way to go let's see we are in debt now but I really want to get the administrative points up so we can level up but money wise it's not going good we definitely need to fix this we still have the temples that's being built and of course and well, kindly the uh, corruptions dropping down. All right, so we got some cores ready. So that should fix the money problem, I think. Let's see. Let's see, are we going to go? Yes, it looks like we're going in plus. Let's make those cores it's costing me administrative point but oh well i do need to do that for the achievement so that's the way to go now we need some new generals our great generals died i always want to see my king he's a good one all right Need one more general. Alright, got the armies fixed up again. So we could start another war. But it will take some time before we can start the next war. Yes, definitely. And we're slowly getting there. We kind of need to invade England. We need the universities. And then the last one for the achievement. 
All right, let's speed it up. Let's go and burn some time because we are waiting for Sweden to give it up. There's some more rebellions. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's get all the armies there. Because I definitely want that to be clean kill. All right, let's use the points. We need those diplo points, uh, those administrative points, if we can get them. All right, let's attack, do this right. Have a look at that army, it's totally scattered. Oh, and another rebellion. Not good, not good. Portugal still has his fleets down there, so there's no way we're going to stop that rebellion, and that's a more scary one because we kind of need to stop it before they take it. I want to hold my Breton's place. All right, let's see. We can do it the cheapy way. Let's drop in France, ask France for military access, and then go stack wipe those troops. That's always a good way to do it. All right, we got another innovation. Yeah, we kind of also need to level up. It's hard, boy. Hard pick, but we we're not going to do that. We need to level up. We need to do a lot of things. All right, and the war has ended. Finally, that was about time. Now we can do some other things. We still got our land all on the other side, so this war ended the right way, but somehow my army got black flag now. All right, well, get the army back. Where is the other 10K? I don't get it, where is it? It's in the red, where? Oh, that's that one. I'm kind of lost here. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, Denmark. Come on. I'm looking for my army. I'm missing 10,000 soldiers. Where is it? Can we? Yeah, we can move those troops that way. But if they go in there, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Let's try and get the fleet back first. Or at least our troops back and well military access is I guess not let's see if we can get military access because well we kinda need it. But we're not going to get it. Uh All right, let's just make a big transport fleet and then do a naval invasion. It's the only way to do it at the moment. Going to take a little bit of time, but well, we'll fix it. Join the armies up again, 20,000, 22,000 men. We should be able to do that. Alright, everybody is back together again, yes, yes, ships are almost done, well almost, it's going to take a little time.
And let's get that army to America in the meantime, because we are going to need it for our next war. Let's drop it, yes, and... Hmm. Wait a bit, wait a bit, it will come. Come on, move. It should be there already. All right, let's see what we can do. Can we do some more government? Anything that will help us. That's worth the money. Or at least the points. No. 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 All right, let's move on. All right, the army there already because I kind of want to do some fighting. I want to kill the rebels. <laughs> that's that's the most important thing. But the ships aren't done yet. It's not going fast enough. All right, let's see what we can do here. Can we? Yes. No, we need to fabricate a claim. It was almost scary that he had an alliance. Let's kill Holland, my home. Well, it's not in America, but well, I live in Holland. So let's fabricate a claim. Let's fabricate some more claims against you guys. Let's check what kind of alliance do you guys have. Because if we can take them all in one, that would be a great blow here and make uh, New Ireland quite a bit stronger but who has an alliance with who are keys no yes and I guess yeah we're going to fabricate some claim here and well we're going to join some people in that war All right, the ship's ready yet because I really, really want to kill some rebels. Especially before the end of this episode. All right, come on, a few more ships. Got some more ships here, but well, we're not going to use them at the moment. All right, let's join them up. And let's move the army. And the, mo and the army moved out, or the rebels moved to France. All right, well, that makes it an easy dropping. And even France is going to kill them for us. Oh, thank you, France. And you hated us, did you not? All right, what else can we do? England's drilling their soldiers. It's not going to help you, England. All right, how far now we killed the rebellion, move our armies back, prepare for the next episode because, well, we're going to do some fighting in the next episode. We're definitely going to do that. 
And I guess it's going to start with some war against Holland or something like uh, killing some Indians. Well, not a nice thing to say, but has to be done. Yeah, we go for the points. It's, it's not worth it. Points it is. So how is our technology doing? We're getting closer, but it's not going fast enough. Can we buy? We could take a big loan, but it's not worth it. As you can see, Ireland is always kind of in the end node. Not getting enough uh, well we don't have the development stuff all, on all levels fixed up but I guess in the end it will come Ireland is the greatest technology brain there is at least we got a big army and we almost beat in England that's the most important thing I guess I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. I really did enjoy making it. If you got any comment, put it in the comment box below. And hope to see you guys in the next European of Azales. Thank you for watching.